Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do the fun tag video that's been going around. It's the $10,000 on luxury handbags for your entire life tag. And this tag was started by Cassie Thorpe and I was tagged by two lovely ladies, Yvette from Me Like You Too and Irene from Be Fabulous With Me Irene. So thank you ladies so much for the tag. I really appreciate it. So the basic premise of the tag is this, that your entire collection is wiped out, you have nothing, you have to start over again, and you are only given $10,000 for your entire life to spend on luxury handbags, so which bags would you really add back? And um, when I first saw this tag, I thought immediately, I was like, well, I'm gonna add the Chanel Classic Flatback first, but then I realized I would be wiping out more than half of my budget by doing that, and did I really wanna do that? And the answer, quite frankly, was no. So I scratched that idea and I started thinking about what bags do I really need? Like, what do I really want and need and can't live without? And this is the list I came up with. So the first bag I would add back to my collection, and it was really surprising that I thought of this first, but is actually the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size in the Damier Bean pattern. And I have this bag, I wish I had it to show you, but I'm currently in the process of trying to sell our house and move, so I have all my luxury items stored up, and so I don't have it to show you, but this bag is so amazing because I am a mom of three. Um, I do a lot of day trips. They have a lot of activities where I'm having to carry a lot of their stuff with me, and this tote bag is just amazing for that kind of stuff. And also for when you're traveling, it's just great. So I cannot see myself without this bag. And so that's why it made itself onto number one of my list. Um, and then it also comes with that pouch that you can use as a wristlet. And that's what I usually do when I carry this bag. I will um, put my wallet and my keys and you know just small things like that into that pouch and then I don't have to carry the bag with me all the time. Like if I have to jump into the store, I'll just grab that wristlet and just go. So I feel like you're getting two bags kind of with just purchasing the one, and that's definitely the first one that I would add back. That currently goes for $14.70, and that will bring my budget down to $85.30. So the second bag that I would add to my collection was the Palm Springs mini backpack from Louis Vuitton. So I chose this bag because I find that I use it so, so much, especially in the summertime. I love the fact that you can wear it crossbody, you can wear it as kind of like a sling, you can wear it as a backpack. It's just very versatile. And for me, like I said, if I'm carrying my tote, sometimes I do want to have like a separate purse or you know a bag with me and so the Palm Springs mini it works great in that sense because you can have that on you but then you can also carry a lot of other bags if you need to so that is the second item that I would add back and also it comes with the black trim instead of the vachetta so it's weatherproof and I just use it to I use it a lot and it's so darn cute as well and even if it goes out of trend I feel like I have two daughters so I can always give it to them and they would probably love to carry it I have my my 10 year old is also is already asking me if she can have it when she gets a little older <laughs> so yeah I definitely think I can I would add the Palm Springs mini backpack to my collection that currently goes for 1940 so that would bring my budget down to 6590 so the third bag that I would add back to my collection, I thought for sure it was gonna be the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse because I love that bag. I use that bag so, so much. But I thought, well, you know what? You have been loving this other bag so much more than the Pochette Matisse. And that bag is my most recent purchase. It is the Lady Dior in the medium size supple grain lambskin. And oh my gosh, you guys, this bag is amazing. And it comes in the grain calfskin. It's not the lambskin. It looks casual when you wear it with like jeans and yoga pants. Like it comes with that um, thicker guitar strap. It's so casual. It works with every single outfit. And yet when you carry it handheld like this, it is so elegant. You could use it to go to weddings. You could use it, you know, in the evenings. I just feel like this is the perfect bag. And also, this style comes with the flap opening, which, oh my gosh, this is a game changer. I love it so, so much. And this is definitely the one that I would choose over the Pochette Matisse. So this bag is coming in at number three. And I got this pre-loved. I believe they don't make it anymore so that you would have to purchase it pre-loved. 
and I paid $24.50 for it, so that's what I put in my budget, and that now brings my budget down to $41.40. So around $4,000, I figured I could put, you know, I could get two more, you know, nice bags. And the first one I thought of was, well, you know, after I get all these bags, I'm gonna be missing my SLGs, and I love my SLGs so much. And so I thought the next logical choice would now be the Louis Vuitton multi-pochette accessoire, or is it just the multi-pochette? Anyways, that bag is amazing. I do not have it, but when I see it, I kind of like envy everybody who has it, and I really think it's so versatile, and if I was limited, to just a you know ten thousand dollar budget, that's definitely a bag that I would include because you get you get the round coin purse, you get the mini pochette, you get the pochette accessoire, you get a thick strap, and then you get a chain strap as well, and you can take everything apart and use it separately. So I feel like this is the most versatile bag that you could get, and it only goes for well it goes for $16.40 now, but I still feel like this would totally be worth it because it would just add so many like more components into my you know current collection. So definitely think that's that's another bag I would add. And at $16.40, that brings my budget now down to $2,500. So $2,500, I thought, okay, I'm gonna spend this last $2,500 on a bag that I just want. And that would definitely be a Chanel bag because Chanel is just so classic. I mean, I feel like Louis Vuitton is very practical and useful. Um, Dior is beautiful, but Chanel just, you know, it's just so like classic and beautiful and luxurious in my mind. And Chanel, I have to have. So um, with 2,500, there's not that much you can get bag wise. However, the walk goes for 2,500 exactly, and I feel like that gives you, that would kind of take that Chanel craving away. I think I would be able to use that 2,500 for the walk and would be totally happy with the collection. There is another option that I thought of, which is the Chanel Trendy CC Clutch with Chain. This bag is so adorable, you guys. It's kind of a square, it's kind of like um, a square, and it's smaller than the square mini, but it is, it is kind of like a bag. It's not a walk. You know how the walks are kind of flat and you really can't use it for a bag. However, this one, it does have the thickness of a mini rectangular. And so I feel like you could definitely use this kind of like as an accessory as a bag and it just looks so darn cute. And I definitely think that's something that I would consider if I didn't get the walk. And that one only goes for $18.25, which is a great price point for something that can be used as kind of like a small mini bag. And that would leave me with like $6.75 to get other stuff. So yeah, I don't know if I would go for the walk or for the Trendy CC Clutch with Chain. If you guys are interested in this Clutch with Chain um, or finding out more about it, Gina Love just got it and she did a great review on it. She totally sold me on this. Wen Wen Stokes also has this and she also did a great review. And after seeing it on their two channels, I was like, oh my gosh, I really love this. <laughs> I would love to have this in my collection. So I am totally like obsessed and you know, like lusting after it. I don't know like if I would ever really add it, but it's definitely on my radar. So yeah, that, those are the bags that I would you know, get if I were given $10,000 to spend. And I think that covers all my bases and I feel like I would be very happy with my collection if those were the only bags that I got. So yeah, let me know what you think about my list. If you have anything there or that you would take out or put in, I would love to hear about it. And I hope this was fun for you guys because it was really fun for me to think about and, and film. So with that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next one. Take care guys, bye.